Okay guys, got an update. Um, been doing a bit of work this long weekend here in Australia. So what's happened is I've pulled out the battery pack, replaced some dud cells that were in there, and put it all back in again. Yay! You'll note that not only is this side done with all the correct plates, but this side also has all of the milled plates on them as well. So that's in its final setup. The other thing I've done this weekend is sheathed all the BMS wires, put them into a D25 pin thing, going to tidy up the end nubs here and put a um, heat shrink back over the back. That's then wired into the BMS. Little wires everywhere, got to get the box for the BMS. And this is the 12 volt feed into the BMS and its control wires out. At the moment I'm doing a load test on the bike. Not a very significant load but I want to see the capacity of these cells. So BMS here is showing all green. I'll tell you what that was a relief when I plugged in that big 25 pin plug over here and all the lights went green and no smoke came out and no sparks flew. Here's the ignition switch in the on position at the moment. That pulls in the contactor and puts across a load onto these resistors. Each one of these resistors is capable of dissipating one kilowatt of heat. Um, these are in series at the moment and that means it draws about 22 amps from my pack. Considering this is a 50 amp hour pack, I'm expecting to get two hours before the low, any low voltage alarms go off. You can see here I've got a little DC voltmeter that's just showing me the battery pack voltage at the point of the load, not at the point of the, um, the battery itself. And that's sitting quite nice and steady. Now you'll note these things are pumping out a fair bit of heat at the moment. They can take about 30 amps through them for their one kilowatt. So have the fan blowing across them at the moment and it's like a little room heater in the shed. But that's where I'm at. Um, next most important thing is to get the proper box for the BMS, get it mounted in, and then I'll do the final layout for all of the equipment underneath the tank here. And that should give me, well, the final construction. I'll put it all together and make it go again. Thanks very much guys.